Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and today's video is about Soho CRM. I'm going to show you how to create a workflow that will assign an account to a deal automatically. Let's start. First off, I wanted to mention that there is a blog post that shows the step-by-step -step process and we're going to use it along the video. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below. All right, let's go to Soho CRM and I'm in the accounts module. So first we're going to add a new account and the account name is going to be signed deals. All right, let's save it. And the only thing that you're going to need from this page is this number right here in the URL, but we don't need it yet. So I'm going to come back here in a second. Now I'm going to go to the setup page that I have open up here and I'm going to go to functions under developer space. And now I'm going to click on new function and I'm going to create a function. Now we're going to go back to the article and copy this function right here and back to the function and paste it. And now we're going to go to the account that we just created and copy this number and back to our function. And we're going to replace this number that is the account ID for the one that we just copied. All right, now we're going to click on edit arguments and we're going to add the argument pod ID and we're going to select the type, this one, and click on save. And finally, we're going to click on save up here. Okay, part one is done. Now we're going to move on to part two, which is create a workflow. So under automation, workflow rules, and we're going to create a new one. Modules going to be the deals and add any name you want. Next. And now we're going to configure the workflow. So when do we want to execute it? It's going to be in a record action. And when we edit an a specific field, in this case, we're going to use the stage, but you can use any field you want. And we're going to leave it as modified to any value. Click on next. And now we're going to add the conditions. So the stage is and for me, it's going to work when I move it to negotiation, but you can select any stage you want. And now we're going to add another condition here. And it's going to be that the account name is empty. Meaning that this rule is going to only execute if the account name is empty. If you already manually selected an account to the deal, then this is not going to execute. Okay, let's click on next. And on instant actions, we're going to select function and then functions here. And then we're going to do this one, the one that we just created, assign account to deal. And here we're going to map the deal ID. So click here and press pound. And then we're going to select deals and then deal ID. Click on done and then save and associate. And now we're going to save the workflow. Okay, so we're done and now we're going to test it out. So I already have a deal open, but I'm going to refresh it to make sure that the workflow loads. And now I'm going to move it to the next stage, which is negotiation. And as you can see here, we just got this message that says that when something highlights in yellow, it means that it was automatically updated on an automation. So as you can see, the account was automatically assigned. And now if we go to the timeline, we can see that the function here was triggered via workflow and that the account was moved from blank to sign deals. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.